What's up, everybody? Uh, so, first of all, this is the new channel. Uh, I, I haven't decided on the name. I know there's a name on it right now, but I just don't feel like that's what I'm going to decide. I'm going to think I'm going to keep it. But that's beside the point. That's for another day. Today, uh, I want to... Well, first of all, I'm going to introduce what I'm doing for the channel, this new channel. Uh, I've been holding it in. I've been talking to my friends lately about it, and... I think and they think it might be it might work we don't know but I give I gave it a go I procrastinated long enough so here we go for this channel I want to make stuff like props D D Y D D Y I sorry <sighs> and just like just stuff that like seems interesting to not only you not only to me but to everyone what? So, yeah, like I said, I want to make stuff for this channel. I want to make, like, anything that could be interesting and something that could people can make easily or maybe something that's so complex that it would take some people a month to make. Who knows? It may take me a month to make. Who, who, who freaking knows? But basically, yeah, yeah. So today I was thinking, uh, man, what, what, could I, what could I make for the first episode? Because this is the first episode introducing my channel and what I'm had planned for the future so I thought I like Zelda I've been uh, if there was something cool from Zelda I can make that's simple to start with and I was going I would trust me right now I was going down the list I was just like <sighs> I just thought okay okay just keep it simple for now I thought to my I thought to myself just keep it simple What's something I could make? Link, link between worlds, Ravio's bracelet. So yeah, I decided to do the Ravio's bracelet. If you don't know what it is, wait till the end, because I'll explain, because I want to get started for now. Let me already did get started here. Here it is, first of all. I think, I personally feel like it came out real nice. But, uh, basically, I'm, I just want to, like, I'm just, it's gonna be simple. I'm not gonna make it too complex. It's not really that complex either. It's just imagine, it's just cardboard and paint. Let's be honest. But in the end, I say it came out really well. And if you wanna know how to make it, just follow these simple steps, and you'll get it real easily. I promise. So without further ado, take it away. You're gonna need a thick cardboard cylinder for the actual bracelet. And you're gonna need a lot of flat, but also thick cardboard, exacto knives or scissors, and also different types of paint colors. Uh, I got like yellow, orange, and uh, like a dark brownish gold to make it more like, like a shiny but like deep kind of uh, gold for the bracelet, and also some purple for the emblem in the middle of it. So I found this at the store, and I feel like it will really help for the purple emblem in the middle of the bracelet. Uh, I, th I think I think it could work. Now this is optional; you don't have to do this. But if you do want to go out and buy it, then this is what it looks like. And last but not least, you are going to also need a cutting board for the exacto knives, because I'm actually forced to say this. But if you're gonna use it, you gotta be safe. So we're going to first start off with taking a long strip of cardboard and we're just going to we're just going to wrap it all around the the thick cylinder. And what we're trying to do here, we're, tr we're trying to get the right measurement for the outside layer of the band. Uh this is a pre video edit, so uh this means I've already did it, but I'm just explaining the steps through and through. Now that I marked the distance where I need to cut it, all we gotta do now is, well, make sure the measurements are perfect and cut it. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. That it kept slipping. Okay, it, I couldn't. I tried to explain, but it, it kept slipping. But yeah, desire a marked in line right there. Uh, it seems to be pretty good. <coughs> now that we have our measurement for the actual like border of the bracelet. Now what we're going to do is, I'm just going to take the cardboard and cut it down right through the middle. I don't know why I went to, I went off the line to 
but basically yeah I'm just gonna cut it down the middle I, I'm looking at it from an angle that's why it looks weird but trust me okay so I finally finished painting the the bracelet itself and the borders of the bracelet and all I did was I just took a gold and orange and yellow paint and mixed it together and, and I got this uh, it looks really well done and I did the same thing to the border, but it took too much time, and I couldn't speed it up fast enough to make it in seconds. So this is, this is just take my word for it, okay? And uh, now that <coughs> we do have this, I'm going to now go ahead and actually start hot gluing the pieces together. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hot glue the the bands or like the, the borders of the bracelet actually onto the bracelet. So you're just gonna put it on. And you're just gonna slowly roll it up all the way around and if you get the length of it right then when you put them together they should be right next to each other and one not shouldn't be like layered over the other and mine seems to be pretty good uh all we gotta do is hot glue them and it should be you know good and then we got to the, the other side and one step closer to finishing this Okay, and there we go. I have assembled both bands on each side of the bracelet and hot glued them. And I personally think this came out really well. I like it. Uh, you can definitely see a difference. And I, me personally, I can feel a difference. And uh, now that we actually do have these parts connected, now all we gotta do is put the emblem on this and we'll be done. Okay, so now this will probably be the hardest part for me in this entire project. All we gotta do now is just, just draw out the emblem in the middle right here. And I'm not, you're not gonna get it right in your first try. I'm not definitely at least. So I'm just gonna keep trying again and again until I get it, until it looks good enough. And there we go, this is what I have. This is after a couple of tries. This isn't the final product, this is what it's gonna look like. So what all I did was, I just got the measurements of the distance from the border lines because that's that's what that's what the emblem difference when you see on the picture before him, before and mine fits really well it's just that now I'm what I'm planning to do is to cut out like all the pieces so like the top piece the uh, the purple um crystal in the middle and then like the bottom one too I'm gonna cut them all to be separate so yeah this isn't what it's gonna look like in the end no they're all gonna be separate Okay, so after cutting these two separate out, I left the emblem behind. Really, all, all we gotta do for this segment is just paint them the same color as the bracelet. Okay, I just now, well, as you can see, I am now hot gluing the pieces onto the actual bracelet. I'm starting off with the bottom piece because I feel like that would be easier. And also, you kind of have to since this one's like can the top piece overlays the bottom piece so for now if I if we done this right then when I put the other piece on and the purple emblem in the middle of it it should be a perfect fit <clears throat> okay so I'm actually really proud of this well, all I did was I traced where I wanted all the the purple to be for the for the emblem emblem and then uh, I just just placed it there traced it and then I put the uh, thing over it and it obviously shows that no matter what you're only gonna see that area and nothing else surrounding it so hey I mean and I just found a loophole all right so this is a pre-recorded message uh the, right now I'm putting on the fine final touches but I just want to talk real quick uh, my plan before for the purple emblem in the middle it didn't really go the way I wanted to but it still came out pretty good uh, I would have showed you what it looked like, but I actually don't have footage of it because I, I realized my mistake. That I was trying to think of a way to get around it, and when I did, I forgot to get my, to get the camera out, get my phone out, record it. So yeah, I'm just telling you guys right now. But for now, I fixed it. It looks way better than I, I wanted it to look. Uh, I'm just putting the hot glue on right now and cleaning up. And after this, we'll finally be done our Ravio's bracelet will be complete.
And there we have it, everybody. Ravio's bracelet from Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. This project and build was really fun. And if you want to make this by yourself at home, I hope you have fun doing it. So yeah, basically in the end, yeah, there we go, Ravio's bracelet. Uh, I think that it went out pretty well. Yes, okay, look, I know this from my, this is my first video, do not expect this to be perfect. I do intend to do better and to learn from what, like, what I do, my experiences. Uh, I've been looking up other channels that make stuff like, like I do, and I see the way they do it, and I want to, I want to do like theirs, but I also don't want to just copy them, so I'm trying to keep it interesting and keep it my old way. So, uh, yeah, besides that, uh, yep, the Ravio's boy bracelet from Legend of Zelda, <coughs> sorry, Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. Uh, I, I think it came out pretty well for its first go. Uh, if you do didn't like it and want to make it yourself, watch the tutorial. It's super simple and easy to make. You can make it easily in a day. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and please subscribe because I want to make this an actual thing I'm doing for my channel. And I feel like that if I know you guys more of what you want to make and not just what I want to make, then we can grow. Like, I don't expect to get big and popular, like, like over a million subscribers, nowhere near a million. I thought it's going to take a decade, but, like, I just want to, I just feel like we, this channel has potential, and I just want to, I want to try. So, uh, yeah, again, thank you, everyone, for watching. Make sure to come back for more. I don't, I'm not going to upload, like, every day or every week. Uh, if I'm making props, they're probably going to come out, like, one like two one maybe three times a month that's that's why I'm, that's my prediction right now you better make more than two videos a month man i'm watching you see these eyes 2020 vision always watching you watching